Jadi jadi. Kemanian woman pleads guilty to child cruelty involving 12-year-old Jamaican boy. A Caymanian woman who was charged with enslaving and neglecting a 12-year-old Jamaican boy is to be sentenced later this month. Lurleen Viola Henderson, 59, from East End in Cayman, pleaded guilty to charges of cruelty to a child in a Cayman Islands court last Friday. According to a Cayman News Service report, Smith and her son were arrested in April 2019, more than three months after the child arrived from Jamaica. But charges were not brought until May 2021 after a long investigation. The report noted that the child was sent to Cayman as a result of an arrangement between Smith and his family, who believed he was going there to get a better chance at life and attend school. However, the child was reported locked in Smith's home and treated like a slave. The report said adding that he was also never enrolled in school. His case was later brought to the attention of the authorities when he ran away an investigation was conducted, which led to Smith and her son being arrested and charged. Red carpet welcome for St. Anne's Bay primary students. The administration of the St. Anne's Bay Primary School in St. Anne welcomed back its students on Monday, January 10th in fine style by rolling out a red carpet. The entrance to the school was transformed into a glamorous space using balloon arrangements to make the first day of face-to-face -face learning since the advent of the coronavirus in March 2020 as an extra special occasion for the students. The children were greeted by school principal Trevor Cole, teachers and members of the Parent Teacher Association as they strolled down the red carpet to their perspective classes. Cole stated that the gesture was geared towards motivating the students and allowing them to feel appreciated and to know that they were here ready to facilitate them for their learning and development. We welcome them in style because we wanted them to feel special. They would have been home for a long time and we believe that it is absolutely important for our students get a sense that the school in which they come to learn is excited to have them back in this space, Cole said. He says it was a seamless return to face-to-face -face learning owing to hours of strategic planning to devise the best possible approach to accommodate the students. The school usually operates on a shift system and has a student population of 1,066.